When I was a young boy, my father took me into the city and told me, stop being such a pussy. Yeah, my father was Arnold Schwarzenegger, and I don't know if I mispronounced that. And also, I don't know if this quote came from End of Days with Arnold Schwarzenegger, but I know that I was hearing a similar phrase in my language. Yeah, and I'm not a native speaker, so you will probably not understand all of what I will say. And I've told you this in all of my videos. But yeah, I will hear this phrase every time when I've been doing something that would be categorized as girly thing. But I was, and I am, such a pussy. I mean, the thing that I'm a boy and I wear girly clothes can make me the definition of such a pussy. But I've encountered this phrase many, many times in my life and I was told by the whole society that everything a girl will do, a boy shouldn't do. But father, why is that girl wearing pants? Because men are powerful and smart and they wear very comfy clothes. Comfy? Why are you such a pussy, dad? Yeah, we will not talk about clothes. First of all, we will talk about words that can make you a pussy, such as comfy. Actually, if you use nice and sweet words as a boy in a, a whatever country in this world, you will be considered not manly enough. Even yogurt was considered a nice and kind word and now we have yogurt for men. And you probably have to use an X to open such thing because this is how men do it. Hey, you just used the word comfy. How can you go to work if you use such a word? You're disgusting, my friend. You're not manly enough. I don't want to go to work. Work is bad and is harmful. Such a pussy. Speaking about work, this might be actually one of the main reasons why the phrase being a man is the definition of the power. This is one of the subjects that came under the umbrella of a bigger subject, which is patriarchal society. Yeah, well, uh, do you remember war? That manly activity that ruins many lives for nothing? If you are a woman, you can't remember war because men participate at this sport and women didn't do a thing. They were privileged because they were home with five plus children trying to feed them under the time of crisis without any help or protection and waiting for the war to end. Such a pussy, all of those privileged women. Yeah, but who raped those single wives? during the war? Men, because they were such a man. Man and manly man. <laughs> yeah, as you see, it's good to be a man, right? Because this is how men do it. And yeah, this is how privilege worked back in the day. If you didn't know, being raped was actually a privilege. And welcome to my new series, Fake Facts with Olive La Strada. But yeah, there are lots of people that think like that and use this word thing as an anti-feminist argument. And in this case is an anti-being such a pussy argument. So of course, if you want to go to war, which I hope you don't, you must stop being such a pussy. But why don't you stop being such a man? I mean, you've done things like crusade by being such a man. And the only thing that was good because of that is that we have the Total War games and maybe Assassin's Creed, which is not that good anymore. But fighting for the tomb of Jesus, it sounds like they were such a pussy. Back then it was considered a manly thing, wasting your time and wasting people's lives in the name of Jesus. Pussy as fuck. Oh my god, this sounded like a very, very manly thing. Pussy as fuck. Like a teenager that talks only about pussy and how did he fuck a lot of pussies last night. Which is, of course, another manly thing. And not stupid at all because you praise yourself in front of the others that you just got laid. Because you should be proud for yourself that you just had sex. Because this is how men do it. And having sex was a thing that frustrated me a lot when I was a teenager because being a virgin was a bad thing. And I was a virgin till I was 21. Yeah, 
I know, in this world where the society categorizes things between who's a virgin and who's not a virgin, this might be embarrassing. But before I have sex for the first time, I also feel the shame because I've never had sex. And guess what? After my first time, I was very, very disappointed because it wasn't a big deal. And they talk about it like it was a must, like it was a big deal. So I had a big expectation about this. But after my first time, I realized that the first time in almost every cases, the first time having sex is just a disappointed or just is becoming a funny story. Obviously, I, I'm not saying that sex is bad. Contrary, it's very good to have sex, but the pressure that people puts on you, especially when you are a teenager and you are a virgin, to have sex, it's very, very wrong. And by my poor boy perspective, at school, boys were very, very horny and toxic with girls. And they behave like animals just because of the, of the desire to have sex with them. They were talking about how many girls' tits they have grabbed. And I was like, what the fuck? Every time it was embarrassing for me when it comes to this discussion. And to explain, the action of grabbing tits was like this. A girl will walk in a class randomly and suddenly a boy, a hunter, jumps in front of her, grab her by the nipple, laugh and run. Yeah, such a caveman thing. Sorry, such a manly thing. This shit is so manly that one day I had a discussion with an adult neighbor and I was with a friend of mine and the neighbor was also friendly with us since we were kids, but not in a pedophilia way. And because he sees us grown-ups, he asks us, of course we were just teenagers, not adults grown-ups, he asked us, hey boys, do you have a girlfriend or do you like any girl? And I've said that I don't have a girlfriend, but I like someone. And after this, he asked me, well, uh, did you grab her by the tits? And I was like, yes, of course, we are not pussies, we are men and we grab girls by their tits. We grab a lot of tits. Once I actually grabbed a sheep tit and uh, it was uh, very manly because uh, uh, touching tits, it's very manly. But of course, I've never done that. And actually, because of the patriarchal society and because of those words, we have not so many female superheroes. Actually, we have a non-binary villain, but we don't have many female superheroes because men's fights and women's don't. Of course, this is uh, how uh, the society perceives things and uh, is not true, obviously. But uh, going to the gym to have muscles and not for your health, it's such a manly, gross thing. Why? Because it looks like this is what you have understand about your life. That because you are a man, you should have muscles and you should be strong and hear from all of those wet girls that you are such a strong boy, such a manly man. While you are talking with the other boys about tits and about ass and about how did you fuck last night and uh, scream at the other girls in the gym that they have such a beautiful ass. But guess what? If you don't fight as a boy and you don't scream at girls that they have such a great ass, you will be such a pussy or might, maybe you'll be a nerd or a soft boy. But you'll never be manly enough. And this might be also because of those high school movies where some Johnny Bravo that plays football and attracts many girls with uh, just uh, his uh, physical appearance uh, beat up the poor Dexter nerd kid just because he's a nerd and because a nerd is not manly enough and uh, nerds might be such a pussies. And crying is considered not manly, but it depends because if all of the world will see Ronaldo crying after uh, he loses a match, he is crying because he is disappointed because he didn't do enough to win. And for this, he is such a man. 
And I used to cry a lot when I was losing at football because I used to enjoy playing even if I didn't fit between this boy's behavior. But if a boy will cry because he is broken hearted after a relationship, he will feel ashamed to cry in front of the others and if he will, the others will tell him to be a man for God's sake. Or if you are beating up, is the same. If you are crying is not considered normal because you must show that you are strong even if your face is bleeding. Dad, why I cannot wear a dress? Because we have hairy gross legs. But I shaved my legs. You've, you've what? Such a... Even shaving your legs is considered feminine just because men should have lots of hair on their body but not on their head. But yeah, in many many countries, like my country, you might be considered by some people a girl or a weirdo or, I don't know, you'd be considered being gay if you're a boy and have long hair only because you have long hair. But people don't know that men had long hair for many many years. Does everyone remember that in Renaissance men used to wear wigs and stockings? And now if I do this, no one will consider that I have a bad clothing taste on an old-fashioned taste that is not good anymore. No, everybody will immediately consider that I'm not man enough and some will consider that I'm a threat for the society. How will my kid react when he will see a boy dressed like a girl? Okay, in this case will be a man dressed like Alexander Hamilton if we talk about uh, Renaissance or uh, I don't know that uh, kind of fashion. But how kid will react after he will come from school and his dad will ask him. So uh, how is school my uh, son? <laughs> well I've got an A plus. And um, how many girls did you grab by the tits? None. I've raised such a pussy. School is not for you. Go get a job! And the parent will pour a glass of vodka without any juice because he's not manly enough, take a sip, make a constipated face and a hurting sound because of the taste of the vodka and thinks that he's not a pussy at all. Nothing good happen if you're acting like you're such a man because all you can do is harm people in general with this attitude and also make you look like a motivational speaker, which is not good at all. It makes you look like you don't have any compassion and feelings if you will keep thinking like a man. It looks like you don't give a shit. And if you are a biological boy, that doesn't mean that you must behave like a man. And there are women that behave like a toxic man. And by this, I want to say that toxic masculinity can be everywhere in everyone. But because of the environment, this sort of behavior is expressed by men and also because of the patriarchal society. And some can understand that this is a bad behavior maybe after their puberty or maybe after they will have 20 years old or they will never understand and they will never realize which will be sad for the society. But let's be clear. It's not good to narrow your personality because you'll be afraid that the society will put a tag on you. So be a pussy and go and put a skirt on and stop being such a man. This was the video for today and if you like it, press the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel. If you don't like it, uh, comment uh, down below uh, with uh, your hate speech or comment with your love speech if you like it. Also, I have uh, the media uh, in the description, the link to my media in the description, like Instagram and Patreon if you want to uh, support this channel. Until next time, stop being such a man. You can be a pussy because you don't harm anyone.